Hello, this is Raving Reavers125 here, and today I'm showing you a submachine gun based off the M5K from Battlefield 3. So, for this gun, I simply looked at how it was modelled on Battlefield 3, and the general bulk of it was, without paying too much attention to the smaller details, so I could do that myself. It has a small magazine that can hold 21 bullets in it, and it simply goes in and sticks, so it's easy to reload. I've managed to make a way to have a magazine at an angle without making the gun or the magazine weaker. There is a small charging handle on the back that goes out for a little bit, but it's mostly for decoration. A foregrip attachment attaches to the front of the gun via a bit of Technic and stays securely in place. It adds to the M5K look and also makes the weapon easier to hold. A 360 degree view of a Lego gun shows that I've kept it to a colour scheme most of the way through apart from the handle and the plate pieces but it looks sort of nicer to have them an odd colour. The top of a gun is slanted for aesthetics and has a little drop for a sight attachment. The trigger is fully functional and moves with help from elastic. This scope is one of my favourite things about this Lego gun. It's based on an ACOG scope and has an AK styled mount that mounted onto the side of a gun. Once on, it appears to hover slightly from the other side because there's a gap between the sight and the top of a Lego gun. As I said earlier, the weapon is comfortable to hold with a foregrip, but slightly less so without it. I thank you for watching this video and listening to me. I've got a new microphone now, so voiceovers voice should be a lot nicer and clearer, as well as scripted. Please comment, rate and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm always, well, I'm always open to feedback. Thank you.